Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just reading an article that was posted on The Watchers and this is concerning Yellowstone and the title reads, Yellowstone Earthquake Swarm Continues and It Is Now Causing Panic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've done a lot of reporting on what is occurring at Yellowstone and let's be just honest with each other. Because we're reporting on this type of situation, I don't consider this to be fear mongering. You have news stations around the world and also locally all around the Yellowstone region. They're reporting on it. Why? Because it's critical news. This is actual news that can change people's lives. This can cost people's lives. This can be a very, very devastating situation for everyone in the United States and then everyone around the world. The situation started to occur as we see here. Uh, it states that an energetic earthquake swarm that started on June 12, 2017 on the western edge of Yellowstone National Park continues, leading many people into a panic mode. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've seen this before. We've seen small swarms at Yellowstone. However, this is now moving towards 464 events. They did have a magnitude 4.4 or 4.5 earthquake in this area. And just looking right over here at this graph, you're looking at the amount of earthquake activity in this zone recently. Over here on this graph, this is actually showing you this outline right here, the size of this caldera. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, not too long ago, I think a year or two ago or a few years ago, uh, these scientists, they found another large magma plume under the original magna, magma plume that, that scientists originally found. The magma plume that is underneath is four times the size. And ladies and gentlemen, if you look up Yellowstone on Google Earth and then pan back a little bit and look at the uh, geography of the land, you can see what devastation occurred probably you know, a hundred thousand years ago, millions of years ago, who knows? But as scientists are stating, we are well overdue. And something else to, con you know, take into consideration, everyone. The issues that we're having with the sun, the interaction with brown dwarf stars, interacting with our sun, draining energy from our sun, causing severe activity on our sun. Ladies and gentlemen, this solar activity, when extruded from the sun, comes directly towards Earth. We've gone over this with the physicist many, many times. These heavily charged particles, they do reach the Earth. They penetrate all the way to the core of our planet, therefore increasing the internal pressure, therefore flexing the tectonic plates that our earth is made up of. The flexing of these tectonic plates will create the earthquakes. They will create the internal pressure. Ladies and gentlemen, they have already seen a land rise at Yellowstone. There's a very high possibility that the NASA sophisticated plane, Sophia, was seen flying over this area continuously they may be taking topography photographs or imaging of this area to see if there is another rise in the caldera, a rise in the land mass itself. If that is occurring, it's almost like this section of land, this caldera is taking deep breaths, breathing heavily. And I'll be very honest with you, if something happens in this area with a massive caldera volcanic explosion, we are freaking doomed. 
It's reality, ladies and gentlemen. It's not fear-mongering. The possibilities of this happening are increasing on a daily basis. Well, actually, a minute-by-minute -minute basis. So we're going to keep everyone in touch and in tune with this information. I'll be leaving a link to the article that the watchers have set up on their website. And by the way, this is a fantastic website. I would definitely bookmark this site. They produce a lot of critical information around the world that mainstream media fails to report on because they're too busy with their political agendas dealing with Donald Trump and other crap news coming from CNN, the crap news network. But the situation, ladies and gentlemen, I feel is dire right now at Yellowstone. And the watchers and myself and some other YouTube channels are not the only ones around the world that are reporting on the situation at Yellowstone because it is critical. It is a life or death situation. What is occurring in our solar system is a life or death situation. Things occurring on and with our sun are a life and death situation. The fact of the matter is we all need to wake up. Forget about fear mongering. We're reporting on the information that is happening around the world. And this information coming in from Yellowstone is critical. Ladies and gentlemen, take the time to click on the link and view this information and read it for yourself. I know for a fact that scientists and uh, seismologists are probably going crazy and freaking out about what is happening. But they're not going to come out and just say, oh, you better watch out. Everybody get out of this area. Evacuate. No, they'll let you all die. They don't want to create a panic. Fact of the matter is, this is a dire situation. There is a situation at Yellowstone right now. 464 earthquakes, what they, they're, they're calling events. Let's just call it what it is. They're earthquakes on a massive supervolcano that can literally erupt and kill hundreds of thousands of people and then send its ash plume through the jet stream, across the United States, across the Atlantic, into Europe, and then around the world. The data is coming in, and the data is not good, ladies and gentlemen. So we will continue to report on what is happening at Yellowstone. This is Scott from Planet X News and the Nibiru Channel. Thank you for watching.